yes, my name is Bernice and I'm the cousin of Guy Jaro. Guy Jaro was also a victim for the Vallejo PD. He was killed on December 11, 2010. His life was taken way too soon. They completely violated God, his rights as a person and as a human being. They let Guy die. They have turned our family upside down. And no one still to this day, it has been over two years, and no one has approached my family with the fact that Guy was even shot, let alone demised. Now what kind of department does that? Who doesn't come to the family and say, hey, this is what has happened. Why should we have to hear about this from the local people? Someone they didn't even know. But the people that are supposed to take um, care of us and, and to, to deal with the criminals, they are the criminals. So who police the police? We have not gotten that answer yet. And I've been asking it repeatedly. Who polices the police? Because as long as they're allowed to do the things that they're doing and we don't stand up, they're gonna continue to get away with it. About a month ago, they had a meet for the community to come out asking us to build a relationship with them. What kind of relationship do we want with people who are allowed to murder us and go home the next day? Uh, right now we're going to have Frank Gaskin, business agent for IWV, a statement from IW Local 10 President Michael Vigilante. 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 I don't need no mic, I talk loud enough already. Good evening everybody, my name is Frank and I am a member of Local 10 IWU. I've got a handful of my members here in support of the families. My president was able to make it, he needed to read a statement. The Romero family at our February 21st union meeting, my members voted to support the Justice Romero, Marty Romero, Foundation. We stand in solidarity with the Romero family and all the rest of the families that their loved ones have been fatally killed. The International Longshore Warehouse and Local 10, Local 10 demands a full and transparent investigation of the Romero family killing. And the Vallejo Police and the Solano County District Attorney open up all full investigation on these killings. Sincerely, Michael Little Johnny, President of LW Local 10. Thank you. Thank you. United we stand. Divided we fall. An injury to one is an injury to all. Uh, I have the pleasure to introduce Brother Ascari from the Black Riders. All power to the people. All power to the people. Death to the pigs. Death to the pigs. Say that like y'all mean it. Death to the pigs. Death to the pigs. Death to the pigs. Death to the pigs. Now, I first like to foremost, uh, first and foremost, would like to state that you know Christopher Dorner proved that there's no such thing as a good police officer. And I'm explaining to you exactly why. Because if there was a, a good, a such thing as a good police officer, there wouldn't be a Christopher Dorner at all. Don't tell me that they're not wasting the war. They're not your friends. The police ain't here to protect us. They're here to protect property of those of us who have and cop out into this petty bourgeoisie state. You know what I mean? We need to organize. This should be in every household, every elder out here who has a legal right to bear a, a weapon, they need to have a gun in their house. And when the police come on a block harassing somebody, don't look at it through your window. Come outside and exercise your constitutional right to bear arms. All these youngsters out here, there's an above ground unit and an underground unit to the movement. If you can't legally hold a weapon, you got them anyway. Put them to use. Protect the elders and those of us who can, can legally bear arms to address this situation. The Black Riders Liberation calls for immediate end to police brutality and the murder of black people. We're not asking for shit. We're going to make sure it happens. If we see them in our community harassing and sweating us, we're going to sweat their ass. If they touch us, we're going to touch their ass. And whatever they do, it's going to be a reciprocal response. And that's how it needs to be from every community across the world. Every 36 hours, a black man, woman, or child is murdered by the police department. You can't escape the statistic. A good cop makes his quota, and he makes his quota taking black people or brown people or red people to jail. 76% of the prison population are black and Hispanic males, and that percentage, 65% is black. If you've ever been in a hold and tank in your life, you know the ratio of black people to anything else is going to be higher. And that's in any jail ever in, in the United States. You can go to a hick city right now, and I guarantee you there'll be more black people in that hold and tank. We need to understand this, analyze it, heighten this contradiction, and react. All power to the people. All power to the people. Figuring out how to protect ourselves 
and how to make the police respect us. Now these brothers here from LWU, they know what the picket line is about, they know what the police is about, and they know what social power is about. I have a question for you, Charles. Sure, right on. They have an open session, and why don't we all walk in that room and they're having a board of trustees meeting right now. Or city council meeting. <laughs> Uh, what do we think about that, folks? Let's shut him down. Down. Okay. Uh, let me get my thing right. Oh, let me just, let me just, let me just finish this up right here. What I want to say is, shut him down. They shoot us down. We shut him down. I guess we go inside, folks. We have to
family to be prosecuted like any civilian. So just understand that this is just a taste of what the city has in store for them if we don't get that. <laughs> Thank you for the National Longshore Warehouse of the City. The city should be victimized by police and the city government. The city government cannot get off the hook. Thank you. 